All right, so let's understand how we can use the workspace, which is a kind of a shared folder. We're gonna see that how we can create one, how we can publish the content into that, and how we can share the entire workspace and what all roles we can define over here. So we'll go into the workspaces. This you can access only once you have the premium or the pro license. And even if you are into the trial, you can use it. I'll click on this create a workspace and it will pop up this pane on the right hand side. I can simply put an image of this workspace also. I'll simply give it a name as AW uh, work space, right? And I can simply give a description which is optional. I'll say AW reports and dashboards. I can also set up some advanced setting of to this, which is workspace admin and specific user and groups. I'm not going into that. I'll simply click on save. And from now onwards, you, you'll start seeing this as a part of my workspace. If I come over here, you will notice that we are into AW workspace. And through these three eclipses, I can change the setting. I can change the workspace access. Now, instead of uh, simply going with the access right now, first let us just put some content into it. And if you remember, we created this report into desktop application. Now, earlier we published it onto my workspace and now I'm going to publish it into this new workspace that we created. So let it simply save it and uh, let me publish it onto the workspace that we just created. So it has opened up this pop-up for us. Let me just go down and figure out where we have that workspace that I've just created. It was AW workspace. I'll select it and click on select. And it is simply publishing the report onto AW workspace. The report has been published now. I can simply access it from here or I can simply go to this online Power BI service and I can simply refresh this because I'm already into AW workspace and I'll start seeing the report as well as the cache to data which comes along with the report. Here we go, we have it. And we can also go into the report and we can start sharing the report from here. But the better part is if you see, we can share it from here, but the better part is, let me just go back to this workspace and let me get into AW workspace. And as I mentioned earlier, it is better to share the entire workspace with someone because there you can actually assign the level of authority because we have different types of roles available. Let me show you that how it looks like and where we can do that. The option is this access. You are actually giving access to this entire workspace to someone. You are gonna put the email address of someone. Uh, let me just select this address. And you can see these four roles you can define, either the admin or the member or the contributor or the viewer. Now, to know these roles and what are the difference between them, it's also very important. That is the reason I've created a quick slide onto the same and want to show you in detail so that you can see and understand without any doubt in mind. So the very first thing is the admin who can actually delete the entire workspace also because he created the same. So he can delete it, <clears throat> update the workspace and add or remove the users from the workspace. A member who can actually add the similar authority member um, uh, with the lower authority and publish lower authority means he can add contributors and viewers. So publish or update the app, share an item from the application, which is basically the workspace, allow others to reshare. Contributor can publish, create or share it and delete the content, can't add or remove the users or change the rules. On the other hand, viewer, as you can see, viewer, as the name suggests, can only read the content of that workspace. Now, very, very important point is mentioned over here is that this is actually not very old uh, uh, role which has been added. It's, it's only been eight to nine months uh, before that Power BI added this role and the purpose is to only view the content and for this if the viewer comes under the premium capacity of the organization then the viewer do not need or require a pro license to view the content earlier it was required even 
to view the content you must be having the pro license now it is not required if the user comes under the premium capacity so these are the major differences of these roles so you can simply come over here and select the role that you want let me go with the member i can simply click on add and the person will be visible over here because i am using my email address only so it won't be showing it over here and from here you can also add it or delete it because uh, i am an admin i won't be able to do it even i click on the remove right so and that's how you can give an access to the entire workspace to someone we can also publish it as an app i'll talk about that in another video thank you so much